So let's compare OLTP to OLAP for running our sales report. Here's an OLTP schema and what you'll see here in a second is the query needed to run this report against the OLTP schema. Fairly long, complex, lots of joins. Now we're going to take a look at the OLAP schema and in this case there's just one table so you're not going to see of course in the query um, a lot of joins this time. In fact there's not going to be any joins. This is a very simple query. So we're going to run these two queries and we're going to compare the results. First let's set some query options. We want to make sure that we can see the I.O. operations and the time so you can see where to right click here and set those values. Then we will go back and execute the query. So now we'll be able to see how many pages were read when we run this query by going to the Messages tab. So you go to the Messages tab and for the report to run against the OLTP system we add up the logical page reads and we see there were 12,720 reads to pull the 10 rows for our quarter one sales. Now let's do it against the OLAP schema. Again, set the query options. You want to be able to see your I.O. results. Now you run the query this time and you see the results. 846 total reads.